Yeah, well, and, and and I make ice cream like you now. And, uh, uh, and I, I, when I, when I came in today and I saw that, my heart sang. What? Which really? One? Oh, the Supermarketing, I yeah. Because I think I invented that. You did. As far as I'm concerned, you did. And it, like you said, I'm walking around yesterday. And the and sky I had, is the limit. I had a list of what I needed. But I kept on, whoa, what I could do with that. You can or, make famous or I'm gonna Amos have, ice cream. You can make what? Famous Amos ice cream. Yeah. I mean, you can make uh, Rachel's brownie ice cream. Well, I love the products that you make using the uh, pie mixes. Oh, because the flavors are the so cheesecake. good. The cheesecake. The cheesecake. I make. I get Jello no bake cheesecake. Yeah. And I make everything out. Yeah. Right now we're featuring caramel apple cheesecake. Wow. It's so easy. It's a beautiful thing, you know. Yeah. It really is. You're gonna promote my book in my class. We're gonna do that now. Okay. I love you. You know what's great when you make something that you didn't point that you never did before and it comes out okay? Well, that's my life every day. <laughs> <laughs> These You're are all mad scientists. Mine are all mathematical. Uh, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. and just based on well, it worked on that flavor, so this quantity. Absolutely. Work on this one. Absolutely. So I'm the most surprised my, when it tastes anything. My cream <laughs> ice is three, two, one. Three quarts of water, two pounds of sugar, one quarter mix. Three, two, one. Wow. Hey, Jack. Yes, sir. We're ready. I'm not wearing a watch. What time is it? It's only 10. Eek. <laughs> I know. We're way ahead of schedule. Well, we'll go out for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back. And um, we'll get going and make some more products. You know, one thing I can do is talk. <laughs> okay. Um, what I do when we have these classes is I pass out my formulas so that you have them. Sometimes and, he uh, passes out. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we'll give that. We'll give these out. Um, Jeff, you can derive his formulas by watching the video very carefully. He tells you everything that's in it. It's just not written down except in one place. So don't call me for Jeff's formulas. Uh, they are on the video. You just have to watch it and sit there and write stuff down. But I do want to show you this. Um, I'm a proud owner of a copy. This is Jeff's book uh, of uh, some of his uh, formulas. And I've never had uh, anything less than spectacular out of, of Jeff's ice cream. And I don't say that just because he's a friend of mine. I promote things uh, that make me look good. I, I use a certain vanilla because it's a great product. And people say, wow, I got that recommendation from Steve Thompson. Or I recommend uh, Stan Sitton, the president of Green Mountain Flavors, because he's making all natural extracts and colors. Get back uh, to the book, will you? <laughs> get back to the book. Great recipes in here. And um, for those of you who are watching this on uh, the internet, uh, we run these classes about every other month, and they're free at Emory Thompson. Jeff runs a four hire class. And there's all sorts of classes uh, in the country, and too many of them. The guy's in a, a, a white toque, and he's got the hat, and it's all, and they're using a spectrograph to measure the sugar. We don't do that stuff. We have fun. Uh, if, if something tastes good, maybe we'll add a little more. Maybe we'll add a little less. Uh, and that's the way Jeff makes ice cream. And in his class, which is called Ice Cream Boot Camp, uh, you can uh, take that. It's a two-day course, and it's just before this class. And uh, never seen an unhappy customer. Uh, Jeff is a, is a great teacher. He, he used to be a liberal, and uh, now he makes money. And so he's, he's a terrific guy. Um, but politics aside, um, so do look into his class. Uh, his website is X Hippie. Now, don't spell it like it should be. Jeff is dyslexic. That's his email, not his website. Thank you. No website. Yes, website. He, he, Website too? Mysticbootcamp.net. Ooh, we got something new. Hey. Mysticbootcamp.net. <laughs> and Jeff is at X H I P P E E at AOL.com. Everybody calls me up and says, I put in X Hippie and I didn't hear back from him. Well, that's because you didn't check the spelling. Uh, he got it wrong in childhood and he's carried it forward. It's the letter X H I P P E E. So. It was taken. 
when AOL first started. Oh, okay. So just, just tell them a little bit about what you do in your class. Okay, the class is uh, radically different from uh, other classes, although I didn't know that at the time. Uh, uh, what, I, what I try to explain, and many of them are here today, is that this is a very simple business. You'll work hard, but it's a very simple business. And the, uh, this here, it says, uh, go supermarketing. Instead of, uh, instead of all those containers and jars and jugs of colors and pastes and flavors, just go to the supermarket, uh, as Steve did right before right uh, the class. And whatever you see, we can make ice cream out of it. Uh, the last thing we did in the class uh, yesterday, uh, they came in the back room, looked on my shelf of all foods and everything, and picked out uh, two things and said, can you make ice cream out of this? And we made a blueberry coconut, which uh, is going to become a winner, I think. Uh, so anyway, the class is, it's two full days. Uh, you need a nap after it. And uh, it, it, it really breaks down a lot of the myths in this business. There's a lot of people rooting for you to fail and just to sell you things you don't need. Uh, and I, I started the business on $13,000, and uh, we're doing very well. Uh, so that's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, my book is for sale here. I've only got six, I think. Uh, How much and are they? $1,000. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Today... They're 50. And these are, by the way, these are the original recipes I started the business with. We still have them, but these are tried and true. If you're looking to start a business, buy a machine, or if you're a beginner, uh, this will carry you for years. And I really mean it. I don't care if you buy the buy, sell enough of these. But these are the original recipes. And the book has just been updated. This is a new edition uh, with things like the Ninja and also a lot of things you don't need in the industry that they'll try to sell you. And, and we can order one later if all six are sold? No, these are the last six in, in the world. Top secret. So we have to offer up 100 for someone to photocopy? This is it. See, there are six left in the world, and that's it. When they're gone, they're gone. Until the next printing. <laughs> they're, they're limited edition, limited to how many you can sell. <laughs> um, also, uh, at emerythompson.com, which is probably what got you here in the first place, emerythompson.com, uh, all our videos, there's 258 of them, 258 different videos of how to make different products. Ices, ice cream, gelatos, sorbets, uh, non-dairy ice cream, uh, uh, New England slush, everything you can think of is at that website. And uh, my formulas are there for the taking for free. Uh, Jeff's are there for watching the video and sitting there and writing down what the formula is. And the uh, reason I don't uh, hand out a piece of paper is because I'm open to suggestions. What do you think we ought to add to this? And that's the simplicity of the business. You know, it's, it's your store, and your store may want to sell bacon, beer, lotus fl uh, flour ice cream. And that's good. We can make it. You can make it. I wouldn't make it. It sounds tasty. Well, um... One thing about making ice cream or any frozen desserts, don't fall in love with your own product. Uh, I make a coffee banana ice cream, and I love it. Everybody else in this entire factory hates it. They, they say that, the, to put it bluntly, they say that the coffee and the bananas are fighting for world dominance within the ice cream. And I make it on purpose now because then I get five gallons of uh, ice cream, and then no, I know no one's going to steal it from me. So it's wonderful. But don't fall in love with the flavor. If it's not selling in the dipping cabinet, get rid of it. Your, your customers are not going to tell you the truth. They're going to say they love you, they love your product, it's absolutely wonderful. But if it isn't going through the cash register, it's a dog. Get rid of it. And, and that's important to keep in mind. Don't fall in love with your own product. Uh, let's see, I'm going to make something now. We passed out the uh, ginger snap recipe. You have that? Okay. Again, I've never made this one. Uh, but uh, I was asking people in the office, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, we're, I was asking people in the audience, uh, you know, what would you like to see? Well, my wife said that she likes uh, ginger snap cookies. And I thought, okay, what would go with ginger snap? Well, apples would go with that, uh, ginger snap. But I was too lazy to go cutting up apples, and apples can change throughout the season. So I thought, well, we'll try putting uh, um, applesauce in. So this is a new one for me. We'll see what happens. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, we'll jettison. Yes? 
What is the outcome on this? Is this a two and a half gallon, three gallon recipe? Or it's a CB350, so it's going to be a six quart finished product. Six quart. Yeah, that's the theory. If I did my math right, sometimes I've gone to put product in and I end up with uh, 10 or 11 quarts because my math was off. So we'll see what happens. So we're going to start with, we've got the bag of gin ginger snap cookies. We've got a cup and a half of applesauce. I'm going to need uh, three and a half quarts of ice cream. And if you'll open the cinnamon, we're going to need the cinnamon. And we're going to need vanilla. So I'll start by putting the, um, the dairy blend into the machine. You don't trust me. <laughs> oh, well, Reagan, trust but verify. It is a little high. Okay. Make sure the gate's closed. That's important. I found that if, if you rest the container on the machine, you're going to spill. If you raise it up a little bit, then you won't spill a drop. <laughs> Keep moving it over. Okay, so that's in there. Now I'm going to add the vanilla extract, three ounces of vanilla. Vanilla brings out the flavor of everything. Uh, if, if you have an overpowering flavor, oh, I don't know, what would be one? Um, raspberry. Raspberry uh, or mint chip. You probably you may not put vanilla into mint chip because I don't. the flavor is mint. But in everything else, vanilla is going to enhance the flavor. This afternoon, we're going to use coconut, and coconut really makes flavors pop. So we've got the vanilla in. We need a tablespoon. That'll work. It's like one and a half of that. Oh, I can smell that. That's good. I'm going to start this up. I'm going to take that down. Whoa! Some speeds are exactly perfect for throwing it out. But you can adjust it to anything you want. That's why it's called the infinite overrun control. Now, I'm sorry I'm blocking the camera. Okay, my cinnamon's in there. It's not easy doing this in your living room. That's why you want an ice cream room to uh, make ice cream in. Um, one and a half cups of applesauce. You don't have to measure that out. Well, I don't know how much is in this container. Cup how many ounces? ounces? So that would be 12 ounces. 12 ounces. This is 23. What a good solid half a jar. Okay. You can throw the whole jar in, it wouldn't hurt either. Really? You don't think it'll make it too soft? No. All right. So make note, we're going to put in 23 ounces and see how it goes. All right. What else? Uh, we've got the vanilla, cinnamon, mix, applesauce, cookies. Cookies. Let's get this started. Turn on the refrigeration. Throw those cookies in. Now I'm going to show you something you absolutely cannot do with any other machine because they'll literally, besides uh, destroying the barrel, they'll void your warranty. And that is we're going to put whole cookies into the machine. Whole cookies? Whole. H-O-L-E? <laughs> you got the ninja going? No, why? Let's, let's you don't throw. have to. You don't think so? No. All right. The ice cream brew guru will be right with you. So let, watch this. You just drop them right in. I'm trying to find the sweet spot where it won't oh, spill anything. That's why we have a guard. 
Okay, I'm just dropping these right in. How many are you putting in? I'm gonna How many ounces? The bag is 10 ounces. I'm gonna put both bags in, right? I'm gonna put one whole bag in. You can put the other bag in too. I'm gonna put it in as it comes out. I know, you do it differently. I want the flavor, you want the appearance. I want both. See, Jeff will put all the cookies in and get a very intense flavor. I know that you also eat with your eyes. So right now, if you tasted this and you were blindfolded, you'd say, yep, that's ginger snap cookie ice cream. Uh, but you take the blindfold off and look at it in the tub, you don't see any cookies. So I have my flavor in the machine, but I want identity too. Jeff doesn't do this. When people I wanna... leave the ice cream store, they don't call up their friends and say, boy, you should have seen what that ice cream looked like. No, but when you have it in a dish and you see pieces of cookie, uh, that's what I want. So this is what we mean by we can teach you how to make ice cream, but you're going to do it differently. Uh, everybody has different techniques. So, so would you add more cookies right the last section? No, I'm going to add them as it comes out. I'm going to open this bag. I'm going to take each cookie. I'm going to snap it between my thumbs. And uh, Gee, I never heard of this brand, My Dell. Yeah, it look better than the Bisco. Swedish. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. They're so Swedish. I need a container. Swedish style. All organic. Did you know that? Yes. All right, so I'm taking each cookie and just breaking it into four pieces. And you can do this with any product. You can put half your ingredients into the machine and the other half as it's coming out. Or three quarters in and one quarter out. I got a good idea. What? Give this a one shot in the Ninja and as it's extruding... Oops. Well, I'm going to try it this way. Okay. I, I like the pieces. Okay. I like the... People like to crunch on it. Jeff, sir, in your experience, can you add those two powder molecules? Yeah, but it's not going to thoroughly mix. You won't get them in. It's too filled and up with ice cream. And it's too thick by then. Okay. I don't think you trust me. No. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> All right, here it comes. There's always one in the audience. Are you right. sure he didn't come to your class? No, no. He's barred from my He's class. He's barred from your class. I'd say so, too. Gee. Fresh raisins, give it a problem. What are you doing? Now i got to find him. Well, imagine the surprise when somebody gets a whole cookie. Yeah, I don't want a Whoa. whole cookie. I don't want a whole cookie. Then they'll call their friends. You should, how was the ice cream? I got a whole cookie in yeah, there. Yeah, and I choked on it. <laughs> <laughs> now, right. you're not going to leave these in the bottom, are you? No, 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 shake them in. Okay. Watch a pro. Okay. All right, you're pretty quiet. Any questions? No? We're doing everything right? Did you think making ice cream would be this easy? You can see it's pretty simple. That's because we're pretty simple people. We are simple people. There's no question about it. Watch that. That's why I put the rag underneath. Look at that. You're right. I don't think it's a bad idea to How do about that. A, it just looks awful. How about a paper towel? I don't think it looks awful. Just put it right on there. You'll be fine. All right. Or I could go this way. No questions? Our question and answer period is going to be really By tough. the way, uh, you see the towel. Steve didn't want to put it there because it looks bad. Uh, I use that that uh, shelf liner rubber, you know, stuff on, and I just put it right on my shelf there and everything stays. That's good. Of course it's good. And it's easy to clean. It's a brilliant idea. <laughs> <laughs> How many are going into uh, do an ice cream parlor? Raise your hand. Okay. 
Ices? Just ices alone? Okay. What are the rest of you planning on doing? Carts, trucks. You're doing a cart? Okay, and where, what part of the country? Uh, oh, good. What do you mean, oh, good? You would have said, oh, good, if he said Kansas, right? No, I wouldn't, because if he said Duluth, I would have said it's too cold. Duluth. <laughs> it's too cold up there. No, you know what the one and two ice cream places in the country are? Boston. New England, Great Lakes. Yeah, no, that's true. Hmm? Well, one re reason, and, and I can discount my own statement quickly, is uh, ice cream doesn't sell when it's raining. Uh, think about it. If it's snowing out, you walk to your car. If it's raining, you run to your car. So there, people will buy ice cream all year round. And then what blows that theory is Molly Moon in Seattle. Uh, she started with one store. She's up to about six now that I, I put her in business with. And it's, it's always raining in Seattle. And uh, just does a phenomenal business. So does everybody know the difference between Italian ice and uh, sorbets? Uh, Italian ice is sugar, water, and flavor. Sorbet or sorbetto is sugar, water, and flavor. Uh, however, Italian ice is usually flavors like lemon, cherry, grape, orange, chocolate. Those are the standard ones. And sorbets might be kiwi, mango, papaya, passion fruit. It's the exact same stuff, just a little more upscale, just raising your, your flavors up. And then what Jeff is going to make uh, in a little while is going to be a cream ice. And uh, Ralph's Italian Ice uh, does this uh, a lot. He, he was one of the big founders of it uh, up in Staten Island. And I'll let Jeff tell you about that when he gets there. But uh, cream ices, Italian mm. ice, sorbets, uh, they're all in the same exact field. Now, again, I don't use a timer uh, so because every product is different the, depending on the sugar content. So what I'm doing is I'm going over and just open, close, and take a quick look at what it looks like. Now, Jeff would pull almost at this consistency. I'm going to go a little bit thicker. This time, I'm going to find a spatula. Here's one. If you go too long, it gets so thick in there, the machine uh, protects itself and stops. That's the only thing that happens. Then you have to open it up and take it out by hand and start over. So not a big deal. What would you say, Jeff? Would you, would you call that? Oh, yeah. Yes? I would. OK. See, again, it doesn't matter what thickness you pull it out. There is no wrong answer. Uh, Jeff, well, Jeff pulls this now. Uh, I pull it a little bit. I'm stuck to this. <laughs> Jeff pulls it a little uh, stiffer. So I'm going to turn off the refrigeration. And again, you see it come out extremely fast. And I forgot the cookies. See, you guys have got to keep up on top of me. So I'm going to put those in. And I'm going to stir them in a little bit. And then a little more ice cream. That's all. Just for looks. Just for looks and for taste. When you get an ice cream cone, you're going to get a cookie in it. See, it's not that hard. more on top. <laughs> now, when I'm finished, and this is important, sounds ridiculous, but it's important, 
In the bottom of the container is cookie dust, which in this flavor is probably okay, but if I was making Oreo cookie ice cream, which is a children's favorite, uh, people tend to take the cookie dust and pour it on top of the ice cream. If you're from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, that's fine. If you're from the Bronx, New York, we know it's dirt. It's just a big pile of dirt on there. So don't be tempted to put the cookie dust on top of your ice cream. It isn't going to look good. And we're done. Okay. So here's a flavor I've never made before. And we'll see how it is. Come on, everybody out. <laughs> How is it? Oh, it's excellent. <laughs> that is good. I'm surprised. Are you making any ice today? Um, any what? Yes, Jeff is. Okay. Jeff just did. We made it today. Chocolate ice. You didn't try it. No, I didn't get you to Oh, we'll get, I'll get something for you. Did you pick In what? No. Oh, okay. No. He added it. It's his ice cream. What's the problem? No, he added vanilla. vanilla? Yes. Oh, we didn't Yeah. 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 Pour Don't it pay in attention to him. He's a troublemaker. Oh, okay. He's a troublemaker. Yes. No, the other guy's a troublemaker. He's a big time troublemaker, <laughs> no, this guy. I'm just watching your back. <laughs> Thank you. He's a troublemaker. I'm watching your back. I leave stuff out all the time. <laughs> in fact, there's an ice cream that's very popular in the country called Sweet Cream Ice Cream. Oh, yeah. Well, Sweet Cream Ice Cream was made at 11 o'clock at night. The guys would make an ice cream or the ladies would make an ice cream all day. Exhausted, wants to go home, and they forget to put the vanilla into the vanilla. So rather than throw it out, they put up a sign that says, Special Today, Sweet Cream Ice Cream. It's the dairy mix without the vanilla. And that's all it is. It works. <laughs> it does work. So what do you think? Isn't that good? Not bad for a first try. So that was just sitting down with a pencil and paper and figuring out what ingredients I wanted to use and doing the math on it so that it would be in balance. And as you can see, right in the middle, Jeff said, let's add more cookies. So um, it, it became even better. What's the matter, Jeff? Nothing. You want me to get rid of him for you? I wish you want me to drag him out of here? We got to call but, security but, on that guy. <laughs> I am security. Okay. How long would you freeze it for after you come out? Um, it depends on when you're going to use it. If you're going to use it tomorrow, I would freeze it overnight. Uh, Jeff makes ice cream daily. Uh, I, I would run stores where I'm making ice cream two or three times a week and building up an inventory so that I'm not having to do it. Both methods are correct. Uh, it's a matter of what your store wants to do. Um, when you're first starting out, um, Jeff's way is less expensive, uh, but it's more labor intensive. Uh, if you can make a lot of ice cream in four hours and you're good uh, on Wednesday all the way through Sunday, uh, that's, that's the way a lot of businesses run. The key thing about the frozen dessert business is you cannot run out of product. Over in Italy, when I visited there, you're walking down the streets of Milan, and here's a gelateria. It's 11 in the morning. You go in, I'd like to have a tiramisu. I'm sorry, we ran out a half hour ago. Uh, come back tomorrow. Uh, but I know there's another gelateria a block and a half away. They're everywhere. So if I don't get my tiramisu there, I have no loyalty whatsoever. I just go to the other guy. And that's the way the Europeans are. In America, I only go up to, say, Cape Cod once every two years, and I love Four Seas ice creams, mint chip ice cream. It's absolutely fantastic. I have in my mind what Four Seas ice cream on Cape Cod tastes like. And so when I show up, and I haven't been there in two years, they better damn well have it. They can't be out of it. You can't be out of a flavor uh, in, in an American ice cream parlor unless that's the way you run your business. I mean, if everybody knows I'm, trans I'm moving flavors through all the time, otherwise that's why Jeff's book has got his, his standards in it. These are flavors that have always been there, and people tried and true. They know that uh, we haven't gone for an ice cream cone in a week, but we know that when we go to Jeff's, we can get that flavor. Not getting an ice cream cone. No, a dish for you. So you want to make another one? I, anytime. I don't know what we're going to do this afternoon, but we'll find something. All right.
girl. <laughs>